and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Graveyard Keeper. I'm your host, the RPG guy, and the darkness is in us. Where I stood around and just waited <coughs> till Moon Day so we can uh, go see. What's his name? I should just go all the way to the end. The, ast the astrologer. Am I still carrying anything that's gonna go up there? I don't think so. Nah, it looks all good. Head down and around here. I think we still needed to see if we could look at Ulrich. I didn't read your book, but everybody at the university was excited. Perhaps a little too excited. They called it a breath of fresh air, and now they want a sequel. So we need to write another. You prank. Well, we, I think we have. We're sitting on a gold star book, by the way. If you like Marissa, I'd be glad to buy it. Seriously? Now, I do think we're sitting on a gold star book. That's not the point. The point is, geez, I'm crow. Hopefully we can get back to the house in time and find our gold star book we're sitting on. And I think it was given to us as a reward for something. So, lo and behold, if we can get this knocked out, <sighs> what would be great. You know, it would be in the book section, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be where we keep all of our writings. Let's see. Doubt it would be in there. Anywhere it would be, it would be here. Yes, we have a gold star book in tow. Hoifit! It'll be a very short episode if I can't get back there in time. I'm just kidding. I would just fast forward us through, but still. I can't believe we finished everything else, and pretty much, roughly, and this is all that's left. I'm sure there's some jackass we haven't talked to somewhere in the vicinity, but still. But, oh well, this looks good. We'll be going on that expedition in no time. Sure. Now what? I guess we should go talk to Miss Charm again. Because that's really all I can think of, and Master Alaric, because... That's all I can think of. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> Did the game softlock us? But we gotta fill our day with a couple of things here. I, I guess what we could do is we could go to the graveyard and fiddle with the graveyard a little bit. 
Because we still have energy, and because of this stat that bonus we have, we can't sleep. That's something they need to fix. It's so either to make that a toggle, or they need to just fix it in general. Because it's a neat idea to have your stamina auto kind of come back. But the inherent problem is that now we can't sleep in the game. So it's literally standing around waiting for things to happen. And... Yeah, that means you gotta keep yourself busy enough to get certain stuff done and all, and so on and so forth. Which is counterintuitive to trying to get to the day, next days and whatnot. It's a mild issue, it's not like it's like game-breakingly bad, but it, it is definitely very, very annoying. Especially if you, we unlocked that skill really early in the game, that would have been really bad. Yeah, how do we say goodbye to Master Alaric when he's not here? And that's what I'm thinking I'm we're running into is as we're getting further in the game, the game starts to do like this soft lock kind of behavior where we're not able to find like Alaric he's been in that tent the entire game now he's gone and he said he was going somewhere which is fine but he hasn't come back Doing pretty good on inventory space. Well, if we get more honey, we're gonna lose it. Let's wait. So that's that's a bit ab uh, absurd that we're having that issue with Alaric. So I'm wondering if something broken within the expansion. I'm sure so somebody will tell me, yeah, you just forgot to do blah blah blah. But there's no again. This game is is very unforgiving in the sense that it has no kind of like way of telling you if you did something wrong or something that needs to be done kind of a you know mentality here let me see we could try taking this down to the blacksmith I guess I haven't tried that yet oh uh, yeah I forgot those things um yeah we could take these down and see All that's left is marble at this point. And what we could do is kind of undo some of these marble statues for our, our stone. Are they marble? Yeah. We can remove some of these marble stones for the newer ones that we have. They should be slightly better. And there's still enough regular, um, actually, I was say, there's still enough regular crosses around that we could just do that too. So actually, we should really do that. Um, I don't really think it's helping, and if anything, it's probably making the quality worse. Six. This is a seven, so we'll keep track. This is a seven. It's still a seven, yeah. This is a three. Which really means it just needs a new body, as far as I'm concerned. 
It's still a three, yeah. I'm not I'm not sure if it's because we just have to replace the entire body. It could be something akin to that. Like, oh, you know, you got to replace the whole, whole body and and then the gravesite will be better or something like that. I don't know. Or you got to re replace both pieces. Which is plausible, but rather ridiculous if that's the case. Move. See, and we're not burning almost any stamina at all doing this. So in theory, we can do this to the whole graveyard, but we should run a sermon and then come back and finish this. How many of these do we have left? I think we have four left. Right? We have three left. So we'll do those three on the side there and then go do the sermon. And then we'll, 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 I'm not going to destroy the marble. I will... Yeah, we're not going to actually destroy probably any of these. We'll, we'll store them, and then what we'll end up doing is we'll end up saving them for fresh bodies. We can even put them down in place of the crosses that are already down. That way we only have crosses left. That way I don't have to sit there and argue which freaking headstone I want to put in. Oops. There we go. We're still pretty full, but that's expected. Looks like we get about 30 faith. And there's just very little for us to do. Okay. Um, like I said, we will work over here. Let's see, that was a 5. I, I don't understand the mechanic, or there's something up with the mechanic that's very hyper-specific. Like I said before, it has to. I think it has more to do with you have to put the body in the ground and then give it its initial goods. But I want to just clean up this whole graveyard. Want all the good stuff out. I think some of these are stone or the old stone, and one of them, a couple of these look like they're marble. So, and hey, if the game actually has a task for us to improve the graveyard and we don't improve it by the time we fill this whole place up, then we'll do the, the biggest overhaul humanly possible. And that overhaul would be replace everybody with a good body, but I we gotta figure out embalming. Which, to be fair, we've never actually had a use for. Um, so there's that element to embalming, anyway. Because we've never used embalming. It's like, well, what are we supposed to do with it? So there, there's an element of the embalming that I'm not too sure about. Like, we've not used it once. I'm assuming, and from the way it's described in the descriptions in the game, is that it's used pretty much exclusively for... Um, improving body quality so really we could replace all the bodies that are like threes and fours even some of the fives and get them up to level sixes i guess would be the optimal task but there we go so we've got a bunch more bodies goodies ready to go however i think we're lacking bases at this point are we but we're not we just have more crosses than we do bases 
Okay. Okay, we're done with the bishop. Let's go into the basement and drop some stuff off. I guess we could process this stone and marble. It's stone and marble. Whatever it is. Looks like six stone and six marble. So uh, we're so trying to fight the falling uh, the stamina regen. Let's go see what's her name Miss Charm and if Miss Charm has stalemated us or stagnated us out and there's nothing for her to give us we have to wait for the next moon day to see if we can get something from the lighthouse uh, from the astrologer I still don't buy that though I, I think there's more to this but I don't know I think we've been soft locked, guys. Hmm. Let's go to the northern fort and see what's up over there. Because we might be soft locked somehow. And that would really suck because we've put in like 40 hours into this game. And I'm just not sure how that even could have happened. But there's something we haven't done, is really what I think it amounts to here is something we haven't talked to somebody we haven't attempted something The swords and armors surround Kukul and Snake, who are bargaining violently. Kind of gypsies come up, armed with knives. Kukul runs away. Snake and the gypsy baron shake hands. Snake takes part of stuff away, and the gypsies take the rest. Well, they must clearly not like each other after that encounter. <laughs> Let me think of what else we can do. Well, we could actually, speaking of Kokol, we could talk to Kokol or Kuakol or whatever William we could, at night over here. We could try to sell the armor and stuff. I'm trying to think of things to fill this episode with. And then for the next episode, I'll just kind of experiment with until something freaking happens. But I have a feeling we'll, on the next moon day, we'll get a, we'll get a response from... 
the astrologer, kind of like how he responded with what he said earlier, with, oh, you know, they loved it, they want a sequel, blah, 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 blah. So I bet you we have to wait another week in game. And as stated, it's a matter of finding things to do at this point, because there's nothing really to do. Um, we don't need to improve the graveyard, so why would we bother? You know, why would we waste our time doing any of that? The only benefit I can attest to is if we keep making more gravestones, or actually what I'm thinking of doing is making um, new fences for the entire area. The benefit of the new fences would openly allow for... Um, We'll wait for nightfall. That way Coco will come out. Now, you know what? No, I think it's really... We just gotta wait for the lighthouse keeper. Not the lighthouse keeper, the astrologer. Um, if we make nicer bases, we can take apart the old ones for the extra stone. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Because, like I said, I know I keep... I'm a broken record at this point. But, let's just do that. The other thing to keep in mind too is we haven't maxed out the like, the like ability of those two characters. Oh, the other thing, you know what we could check out? I'm just thinking about it now. Is the captain? I haven't talked to him yet. Maybe he knows something. Ooh. Nice, got a gold out of that. No, captain's not here. Oh wait, what's this? I still remember his ugly face, his whooshy whisper, and his vile laugh. Someone even saw him cooking and eating flesh cut right from his corpses. We were all scared of him, we hated him, and he hated us. And when his service finally ended a hundred years ago, I was so... What is this? Oh, ha ha ha, sorry, I'm not that old, of course, it's just what I've been told. That was weird. That was weird. I would like to know more about the previous graveyard keepers. Well, the first keeper appeared more than 200 years ago. He was young, romantic, a dreamer, and an incredible... Idler? He spent whole days writing poems, painting landscapes, and playing his mouth organ. Harmonica. Sometimes the villagers had to bury their deceased instead of him. <clears throat> That's all I know, or all I've read about him. Wait, what? Maybe we're going on to something here. Do you have any time to tell me something about the other keep keepers? Of course not. This is the only way to get rid of you. The last keeper was a very decent man, quiet, unlike you. <clears throat> I used to buy alcohol in the town and we'd drink it together. When he used to get drunk, it drove him crazy. It was wildly amusing. You'd always start telling old fables about talking skulls and other worlds. <laughs> huh. I'm not sure if that gives us any more information that is a benefit, but why not? Not sure who else could give us more info, but uh, my entirely unexpected and naive apprentice, are you prepared for a mortally dangerous second lesson?
That's weird dialogue. That's really weird dialogue. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can find up oh, there he is. Nothing. Just just fucking nothing. Okay. Well, we got some insight, I guess you could call it that. From the some small scenes from down below, but I don't know, nothing nothing significant. Okay, you know what? None of the regular merchants have had anything to offer us intent intent wise. The only people we haven't talked to is the farmer. I guess at this point it's really we should also talk to every person that we talk to normally on every day. We should make a habit of that too and see if there's gotta be something where I'm missing. Doing this shit. I already did. <laughs> it's weird how they're all staying up super late for us. You know what? I want to grow more onion. See the miller, then we'll go see the merchant. The miller is still even out. He's not. Huh. There must be a way to get more happiness out of them. Meaning more questing. Of some sort. Alright. Once we go see the merchant, we'll head back to the... We'll head back to the our base here. It's the base of the operation. And actually, while that's going on, let's... Just to see how everybody's doing. So Charm and Astrologer are all on their own kind of thing. Gary, we could we could talk to Gary. We might need to talk to Gary. Merchants, Bishop are probably done. Donkey's probably done. Lord Commander we've barely even bumped into. Adam, Beekeeper, Woodcutter, Miss Chain, Farmer, all kind of wonky. Tanner, Undertaker, done. Moneylender, we've not talked to. Lighthouse. Well, we've talked to him a couple times, but he wants to always loan us money, and we don't want to do much with it. The gypsy. We could do that though. We could get because we have the money to loan, get a loan for one, and then give it back to him. He was on the eighth floor of the dungeon. I don't think we need to deal with him anymore. Roderick somehow went from really high to really low. Clotho. Ooh, that's somebody we might want to talk to. Cook. Eh. Uh, we haven't seen the captain. Say goodbye to Ulrich. Wouldn't like to, but he's disappeared. Rosa, Wagner, Coco, Miller. Miller, we could try talking to. So there, there's a couple of people I'd be interested in trying to find out what the hell they can help us with. He's got nothing for us. In case we need it. Okay. So he's got nothing for us. Let's head back to the, to our workshop. Drop off everything that we were doing and finish whatever we were working on. We're going to go back up to the camp and talk to whoever's up there. At the refugee camp and whatever time we have left we're gonna try to figure out if we can get some information out of somebody that will progress us further we're gonna keep trying is, is really my answer I 
that's cool too. Okay. Fine. <laughs> They've already re the, the zombies are doing a good job refilling it. Okay, really quick. We're actually good on iron, aren't we? They're not doing much of anything, but I do want them to do some onioning. Because at this point, the onion, at least we could just sell it right away. There should be enough for two onion. And well, you know what? We haven't for a while let them grow any wheat, so we'll have them do that. We need to make more wine. You, sir, will continue to make the hot the hops. Two more high quality grapes and we can actually start making a, a third tier but this is a big but we are not exactly able to do that because we'd have to upgrade these four lots plus but what we could do is have him start making grapes till we run out of hops again it's not something I'm, I'm ultimately worried about all right we could drop off the, the, the we'll drop off the silk later and we'll find a place in camp to put it We need to see if we can locate Teodoro or Alaric or somebody here. That's a th th Here's the other thing too. If there's an order you have to do the DLC in, there's no barriers to stop you from completing stuff. And that could be a developing developer's oversight. He looked important. The money lender, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's not in there. So we can say we've gotten everything from her. Though I believe we've done this already. Yeah, we clearly have done all of that. That's good. Then that's fine. It just it's a it's a notion in my head that tells me that it's been done. I know we bought all of her crap, and then she gave it all to us again. I know we bought all of her stuff too. But it would be Miss Chain who still has recipes we haven't unlocked yet. I think there's one. But yeah, Teodoro is nowhere to be found. Oh wait, is that him? Yeah, that is him. I think we've read all this before. Both of those are tortured patients and keeps the doctors well fed. No treatment exists. My father starts saying he invented this device. Look, you spray it into your mouth and the trouble passes. An inhaler in my world, uh, 
in my native land that's quite a common thing. I hope it's a happier place than our own, whatever it is. I asked them, I begged them, but they wouldn't let me. May take this thing to the prison. I already knew that the Inquisition set it up to fire for heresy business and magic. According to the court's notes, the Necronomicon obsessed the parents that drove them insane. And what do you personally think about it? I think there were too many people who wanted to get rid of my father. The envy of his intelligence, his success, his fame, his very existence reminded them of their insignificance. His downfall was only a question of time. He was doomed. Town had has no need for such people. It requires obedient mediocrity. And do you have any evidence? My pain and hatred are my evidence keeper. I say you're not friends with Master Alaric. I don't mean to offend you, but my relationship with Alaric is the new your business keeper. I will never forgive him. That's all you need to know. They don't exist anymore. I destroyed everything. Seriously, but what? They could have helped lots of people. How many people helped my father when the Inquisitor led him to the fire, tormented and broken? Even his colleagues, university professors, his dear friends, they didn't even come, not to father's cell nor to execution square. Five years ago, they declared that my father's work belongs to the university. Of course, the courts took their side. So I brought it to them, five boxes of ash. How did you get into prison? For many long years, I searched for revenge, for a way to destroy the Inquisition. Might have even joined the cult in the end. <coughs> my destiny lay in a different direction. What happened? Some Inquisitors broke into my home and captured me. They threw me in a cell. They explained nothing. They just said my execution would be soon and went away. There were six of us sentenced to death for unknown reasons. Can you imagine it? What are your plans for the future? One day I will return and do the things I swore to swore in the cell that I do. The Inquisition, the royal authority, the bureaucracy, they must perish. Revolution, hmm? He reminds me of someone. No more authority, no more officials, no more Inquisitors. That means war, violent suffering, loss of innocent victims. So is that what you want? Is for the greater good, yes. As many victims as it takes. Well, at least thanks for your honesty. Well, he told us a lot of information, but... It did not seem to contribute to anything new. Is that really everything? Yeah, that's everything. Alright, well, at this point all we can do is just kind of head back again, I guess. I wonder if we can take... Oh, we can take from them. <laughs> Interesting. Not that I would. I don't see a reason to. Other than we can take this honey pudding. <laughs> but nah, they're making honey pudding with more. Panna colada? Boiled eggs, cream of mushroom soup, mushroom patties. We could take this honey from them, but I'm not going to do that either. Yeah, so that's, that's neat. If you need to take stuff, you technically could. But yeah, I don't. There's there's not really much left to do there. But having a nice talk with. Teodoro, I guess, is re was relevant. I get the impression there was something Ulrich wants us to do, and I forgot what it was. Is probably very likely. That's why we probably need to go see Clotho at some point. But she's not going to be available right now. I'm pretty sure Snake has no dealings with us, but we'll see Snake first because he'll be the closest. Then we'll go see what's her face. Yeah, we've never done this. Never found these saplings, I don't think. Eh. Funny how that works. Uh, let's make some silver ingots here. We're sitting on so freaking much of it. I don't know what we'll use it for. Oh, there's more uh, of these. I don't know what we'll use it for, but we'll try to find a use. Put the silk in there. Iron in there. 
I guess we could also double check if there's any more headstones anywhere. I don't think there are. I think that might have been the last one. And then we could try to sell this stuff to uh, Kreswold, I guess. Just so we can get it out of our out of our work area. The other thing I might actually try to do too is what am I doing? First, oh, tombstone. We may even want to look and see if there's something up with. So there might be something I'm missing, so to speak. Okay. Be like you're standing right there, bro. I'm trying to do the ones that are the two that are in the weirdest locations to work on. Okay. I, I had an idea, now I've lost it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, okay, so there's one other idea I have not thought of, and that is we have a lot of quest items sitting in um one of the chests in the house maybe we should walk around with the quest items and see if we get any results literally nothing So let's go ahead and we're going to uh, make our way to Clotho here. See if we can get anything out of Clotho. And let's see if we can sell off our gear at Cre with Kresvol. So I realize that's something we have not tried yet. Oh, and there's also the baker, isn't, or the, the the miller, isn't there? It says like you haven't been friend, befriended him enough to get in his house, so it makes it sound like there's more to do with him. But I could be wrong. Okay, Clotho, this is starting to get ridiculous with you. Ridiculous? Like, really, really ridiculous? Like, every time we come to visit her, she's never, like, there. And we have to play this little fetching game to get her to show up. Ah, there she is. Well, did you know any of the previous keepers? And let me take my sweet. I do remember one. I think it was the third. He was so cute, so gallant, and so smart in those glasses. Oh my. He gave me the most delightful cures for my sci sciatica and hypertension. And in return, I taught him how to revive the dead. So we're at least learning where all the different kind of histories of these graveyard keepers come from. She's almost blue.
Hmm. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to click on that again. Sorry. <laughs> Never a break. Okay, then, like I said, we're going to go see if we can get Kres sell these weapons to Kresvold, since it seems like he's the only dude that deals with weapons next to Kokel, who we also might be able to sell weapons to. So, trying to alleviate some of the dead weight in our in our inventory here. Oh, no, she has the saplings. Four of these. Four of these. We can start working on that. It's like the one thing we haven't ultimately built or done in the in the yard. So she's the one that has the saplings. And I just don't pay close enough attention to worry about it. I guess you could argue we haven't done much with fishing either. So we'll talk to the Inquisitor tomorrow. And see if we can get any info out of that. And then hopefully the... the, the What's his name will have something for us. The astrologer, because if not, we're we're so, we're soft locked somehow, and I don't know. I'll have to figure out, either spend some time in game to figure out what the hell's going on, or worse than that, this would be the end of our playthrough until it gets fixed or until we I research how to do it. Because clearly, we're at we're, we're at a point here where there's not much left else left that we can do, and the few things we can do. Have kind of stiff armed us into this kind of situation between Miss Charm and the astrologer. Okay, he won't buy the nicer stuff. He'll buy the crappy stuff. So I bet you Coco will buy the nicer stuff. Okay, so that at least gets rid of that. This is not even about the money at this point. It's just about making freaking room. You know what? We'll also get rid of the burial certificates that we're sitting on. One thing we could also look to do is max out the bodies of the cemetery. I know that sounds weird to some of some of it might sound weird, but maybe there's something for that, like an achievement. And like I said, we probably should grab once I clean up this inventory of weapon weaponry, we could also look to see if there's any benefit to carrying around the those main story quest items with us and maybe that's why something's not happening i'm literally doing my best to figure this out guys maybe like somebody pops in and says you've got the vampire teeth man <laughs> again nothing new here other than that, we can buy marble from this guy. Ooh, he sells what looks like the gold chisels. Huh. I have a plan for that. We haven't re we should also look at anything we haven't researched yet. I, I think there's a handful of things we haven't done, like the chisels and stuff like that. But I'm not in a hurry to do it. We I mean, we should probably make one of every chisel so we have it. And then research them while we have tons and tons of faith to do it. Okay, so he will not even he will buy back what we've got. You know, he's got money, which that seems kind of broken to me, but whatever. He must come from over here somewhere. Okay, let us head back with, uh, with, our, with our loss here of not being able to dump the literal stuff. What's this? See, the other issue with this is we've seen some of these. Several pieces of raw meat on the ground, then whistles, and then a falcon with a broken wing appears from the bushes. He starts swallowing pieces of meat. Kukul smiles kindly. Kukul pulls out a sandwich and starts chewing. 
Or is there any throws half of the cutlet to the falcon? Huh. Neat. What's this? Oh, we're behind this dude's place. I was gonna say, what the hell? Oh, there's another thing of honey way out by his place. Um, hmm. Well, yeah, we'll drop that all off. The extra crap will may as well reuse our faith and research whatever we haven't researched yet. What are we doing on got lots of carrots and we're doing on green. I guess we're not doing anything with grain. I'm sure we're doing something, I just don't know what. Oop. We haven't researched that either. So. I don't think we have a regular chisel. We got a silver ingot on us. We got a gold ingot on us. Before we go with the basic chisel, let's go research what we've got first. We can easily get more sticks. We can buy them for crying out loud. So that counted for all the chisels. That's good to know. Bet you a polished marble might be something we need to research too. Oh, that's paperwork. Any paper? Alright. Now let's go see the Inquisitor here, because like I said, we're running out of people to talk to. Okay. 
Okay, that's all put away. I need to do the stories and put those away, but what do we need for this? We need more sticks for this. Okay, that's fine. We've got lots of peat, so that's not an issue either. Um, so we need at least 16 sticks, plus a few more for the chis for the final chisel we didn't make, though I have a feeling, though I said we researched the steel chisel, we may not have researched the iron chisel, so that that's a thing. That's a thing. Let's go see the Inquisition. What a show, the Inquisition. Here we go. Well, he's moving into position, we can get to the three ones. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's this? Monsignor, how is your audience? Terrible. These dark organs meant nothing to him. He said it didn't prove anything. What fools they are. While we do nothing, the curse continues to grow in power. Soon enough it'll be too late to do anything about it. I know you and I have had some hard times, but you know for the first time I am humbly asking for your help. In the name of the family I've lost. Please tell me if you know anything that can be used as evidence of witchcraft or the undead or any other cult stuff. Um... so interesting and he looks like a common skull oh he got an achievement he's an alcoholic but besides that he's just a normal skull so what if he doesn't talk nobody will know he's so special yes that's true he might just pretend to be a dead skull he does have a bad temper then it's no good I'm not sure there's any way to compel the dead to, to talk I see let's see we have this already Yeah, we, we already did this with him. So we, we betrayed Gary because, you know, fuck Gary. And his ass. Because Gary does nothing to ever help us except give us more shit and make him more alcohol. I, I just don't know, guys. We got, we, I'm finding things for us to do. Uh, try At least trying to, anyway. We'll go see Jer Gary before the end of the episode, I promise. First, let's go see the Miller. Yeah, I can't increase the happiness with the Miller. Figures. So I guess for sticks, we go see the Lumberjack. So that might have been one thing we hadn't done was resolve things with... Um... Resolve, resolve the various things with numbnuts. With the Inquisitor. I guess I should have told him about the cult underneath the, the cellar, but whatever. About 20 sticks or so. And eight and eight being sixteen, was what we dare desperately would need for the farming element. All right, let's go see Gary. I'm sure he's gonna yell at us for ratting him out. And to be fair, we know that Gary is the asshole from the past who did all the horrible things to everybody, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't feel as bad about ratting him out. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, hold on here, hold on. See, this is why 
it's this is one of the issues that I have with this game is that that's something we may not have done yet. And because Gary doesn't have the little bubble over his head to remind us that he has something for us to do has led to this conundrum of issues here. Um, boom. And again, it's one of those things that I mentioned earlier. Maybe we should start walking around with all of our crap on us. Ooh, that's researchable. Okay. Let's go talk with Gary. See, being a dick actually paid off. Oh, we got lots of uh, grape juice to convert to wine as well. Which we should look at doing soon. Gary, you cheated me. I heard it's hard to argue with that, but what's which specific case do you mean? One of the spirit summoning, the spirit laughed at me. What amulet? I don't wait. You mean to say, oh my keeper? Come on. You really believe that rubbish? No, you're kidding me. If you, it's you who is making fun of me. I was awfully embarrassed by the spirit. Wait a minute. He appeared, didn't he? So the amulet must have worked. He appeared to laugh at how absurd I look. He appeared, so I won't hear any of your complaints. So that was it. Well, I guess we can go to the eighth floor and see if he pops back up again, I guess. But beyond that, that's about it. But I, I think we re I think we solved that. We got him his foot back. So at this point, it's like I don't know what else to really try to accomplish with that. Nice. We can put this urn back, put that all back. So the moon day is coming up again, and hopefully we're going to have freaking something to do. Because at this point in the game, we're starting to get to a kind of a weird stalemate of nothing's happening. And, you know, what are we going to do? Why are you not brewing beer? Oh, you're out of water. Um... So we're, we're coming close to a stalemate of this game um, because, like I said, we're running out of activities to just do. We've, you know, I just talked to Gary again and it didn't really seem to come to much, you know, nothing really came of it other than he just that. So we could see the spirit on the eighth floor again, but I don't know or believe or have a reason to believe that that's going to help us at all either. So, I, I, yeah, I don't know. The other thing we can start doing is getting more bodies to come in. If we have to wait another week in game, we may as well just start accepting more bodies at this point. And the reason for the more bodies, hear me out, the reason for the more bodies is maybe Yorick will show up or something for the for that, you know. We don't know. Whoops. We're not going to really know unless we try to do something is really my stance on that. So that's why I think... Really? I should have enough freaking seed. Um, that's why I think it would be worth attempting to do that. Really? We don't have enough seed. I don't know how we lose seed all of a sudden, but we did. So th that's going to be something that we need to f at some point figure out. Uh, it's what? Let's put the berry, berry bushes in front. We'll figure out how many more saplings we should get.
and that's been studied too. Well, I should have <laughs> known that. I had a bunch of them. I have probably a bunch more floating around somewhere. Okay, cleaning out inventory of crap we don't need. I'm trying to keep all of the uh, quest stuff, the pertinent quest stuff with us. Um, in case there's some side quest thing we've not done yet. Put that in there. Nah, that, none of that seemed to amount to anything. Well, okay, so right now all we're walking around with is Faith. Oh, you know what? We can put that glue in the basement, too. We need to get him water, but I'm not worried about it right now. more inclined to see the astrologer before we end this episode. I know it's a long episode with very little in it, but I don't know what else to say, guys. It's like I'm, I'm, I, it gets to a point where there's not enough in-game direction to keep and the and the quest the NPC log is not that useful because it doesn't tell us enough information. And that's what's a little infuriating, in my opinion. Because I feel like we've soft-locked ourselves if we don't get anything new out of this. Okay, he's got a bubble over his head. That's a good start. I don't know what you owe by my professorship has been fully restored and I've even been promoted. Ah, the best of all, the Dean signed the expedition papers. We have a final problem. We need someone with aristocratic papers to accompany me. It wouldn't normally be a problem to find someone, but considering the sensitivity of our situation, it should really be you. Get yourself some aristocratic papers. Well, we have that. Good. Everything is prepared. I'll send for my daughter. She will join us near the fort. Okay, maybe we'll get somewhere. We have royal papers from the Royal University. We need to go to the old archaeological site. You may pass, but I'll have to let Lord Commander know you're here. Oh, there's no need, brave soldier. Let him sleep. We'll talk with him in the morning. Thank you both for helping me. Where can we find Wagner? He should be in the camp near the road. I think it was Cage. Looks like the soldiers are sleeping. We've never been back here. Wagner. Oh, Miss Charm, you shouldn't see me like this. It's alright, I only see your inner beauty. Tch, be quiet. How can we get this cage open? I have some lockpicks. I have a pretty rough youth. Then we can get him out in one of these crates. Wagner, what a beautiful name. Miss Charm, I have so many. There you are. We've learned everything. My son should have been a glorious knight, and now we don't need them anymore. So he decided to become a writer. What a shame. You're the one who blow up the past blew up the passage. It's all your fault. It wasn't my fault. We need new calculation after the Great Blast. I think our golden angle wasn't that accurate. So uh, excuses. I know that something's going on. First this creature, then your expedition. You're all traitors and you're probably a witch. I'm with the Inquisition. I'm undercover. You can kill me if you want, but release my daughter. Father, I cannot leave without my father. I cannot leave without my father and this young man. I have connections at court. <laughs> father. That's true. We did all these other quests. Can I just leave, please? Uh, the court. I'm the king's uncle. And I'm his son, Wagner. Oh, shut up. I'll admit Wagner is, of course, is a great disappointment, but this is too much even for him. I can prove it. I have a birthmark just above my left, just above, to the left of my tail. It should be somewhere around here under my fur. You know, I'm just going to kill you all. No bodies, no problem. I can help with the bodies, Lord Commander. So it seems that this is the end. Forgive me, daughter. I cannot change what I did, but right now you are everything to me. Father, this is the best day of my life. I found my father and my love. Wagner, let me kiss you. My son? Yes, father. It's me. You nearly cured your own child, but I forgive you. 
I have a deal to offer you. I'll become a knight, but you have to let everyone else go. That sounds fair. As for you, old man, we're not done. But for now, all of you can go. Wagner, don't be sad. We'll be together soon. Here, take this necklace. I think it belonged to you. I bought it using my father's name. I wanted to make it a surprise. Oh, look at that. Everything seems to have ended up well. I don't know, my young friend. I think we still have a lot of problems. Wagner is alive and safe. Come along, father. I want you to show me where you live. And you, thank you for everything. Is there anything I could do for you? That necklace, I needed to get back home to my love. Hmm. Seems like it's already helped me. I hope it helps you too. Here, take it. Oh, young man, I managed to get a golden angle from my, all of my old stuff after all. It's yours as well as we agreed. Okay, so we get the golden angle. You look like your mother, but I'm as smart as you are. Haha. <laughs> what does that all mean? We don't know. And it looks like the moon day has started. And before we end this episode, because I know we've gone on really, 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 really long, but I wanted to make sure that we actually continued the story to some degree here. Um, craft a spirit laser to switch on the portal. We don't have the answer to how to make it. I think that the astrologer knew, so we let's go see him again real quick. And if not, then we'll have to wait till another week in the game freaking passes. But we could go see Miss Charm. And we could go visit some of the usual suspects again. But until I know for sure what we got what the next step is, you know. Shouldn't have to wait till the next week of the game though, that'd be kinda silly. Let's see here. No, he's not here. Okay, so we'll have to probably wait a whole week in the game until we can figure out what to do next, but or see Miss Charm. We have the necklace. I don't remember who wanted the necklace at this point. So that's a thing. Oh, you know, I think I have a few ideas. Um, but yeah, we're running out of time. And so, to be fair, this is a really great place for us to stop for right now. Because we've gotten further. We've got the necklace. We've got the golden angle. We have, I think, the three items to make the spirit lasers. So, where do we go from there? I, I just I don't really know. Other than that, we have a few loose ends to tie up. We don't have the crafting recipe, though. So, I don't know how we're going to make it. We might have to go up to Witch Hill and try out the the apparatus the three items and take them with us we may i'll try the crafting tables you know and benches where we are here with that said i think this is a really good place for us to stop for right now because we can't go any further so i want to thank you guys for stopping by like comment subscribe all the good stuff check out my twitch channel twitch.tv subject to years for more live gaming action and hopefully when we come back we can resolve the rest of this game <laughs> because we're at a stalemate yet again but hopefully we can get a little further thanks for stopping by guys and we'll see you guys next time